Mackenzie Marie and I am starving. You can't tell me that you haven't seen this pasta all over the place. My curiosity wins today and I decided that I am going to make everything that I've seen off of TikTok. Including those smorgasbords, car ch d charcuterie boards. I mean, I mean the charcuterie boards. I can't stop watching these videos of people assemble these things on TikTok and I'm actually obsessed so I have to do it. So let's go get all the stuff because we are cooking today, honey. We love a little Trader Joe's haul. Out of the car and into the basket. Holy cheese heaven. Oh my god. I'm just getting this because um, cheese scares me. These are so pretty. Look at all the flowers. I'm back in the store. I got so many things. My stomach is literally like rumbling. Like it's, I'm pretty sure it's eating itself right now. So let's get started. Let's cook some food. First thing that I'm going to be making is the feta pasta. I know you know what I'm talking about. This apparently is very easy. Grape tomatoes. Pour tomatoes into a baking dish. How many tomatoes? TikTok recipes are great. Except they don't tell you the exact freaking measurements. What am I supposed to do with that information? Got this, uh, clear pan right here. I guess all I do is dump some tomatoes in there. Some people use a shallot, some people use garlic. So I'm going to use both. Never used a shallot before, it looks really fancy. Very excited about this. This really is just a tiny onion on the inside. I'm getting schmaz. Oh yeah. This is bougie, baby. Am I cutting it right? Probably not. Bro, I'm actually a chef. Actually a freaking chef. All of this into there. <laughs> that was fire. Hello, deliciousness. Let me get to my olive oil. Yes, for all the real Italians out there, it is olive oil. Ooh, yeah, baby. That was probably too much. I really didn't look at the recipe. I just kind of threw it in there. Oh, well, it's fine. It's going to taste good, hopefully. I don't like feta. Did I mention that? that block of this stuff. Boop. Some of these recipes says dried thyme. I have fresh thyme. It smells fantastic. You know what? Frick it. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some more olive oil. Now I just stick this thing in the oven. While that's cooking, I'm just going to boil some water. This finna be bussin'. While that's cooking, I'm gonna start assembling my charcuterie board. I don't actually have a charcuterie board, but I do have a breakfast tray, so this should be good enough. I'm just gonna close it up and use this as my charcuterie board. Look, this looks amazing and it has handles. I bought about $70 worth of things to put on my charcuterie board. I might not use all of it. The things I possibly could put on my charcuterie board are crackers, Chili crackers, calabresque salami, prosciutto, another salami. I didn't realize I got two of the same type. Good, good job, Kenzie. Peppered salami. I like my meat. A cheese party tray. Almonds, dried mangoes, grape, chocolate covered almonds, blackberries, strawberries, hummus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The water's boiling for the pasta. I understand this is a very wonky angle. But it works. This should be enough stuff. I'm gonna use a wine glass like this and make a rose out of the salami. I seen it on TikTok, looks real easy. So, so let's get started. Delicious. I had to make sure it was not poisonous. That's why I had to try it. You just wrap it around the rim. Come on, bruh. You're gonna stick with me. Or you dare fall over. I think the more you put on it, the easier it gets. But this is fun. Okay, they're starting to stick together. I swear if this falls apart, I will cry. Here's what my salami rose looks like so far. Wow, look at me getting artsy up in the kitchen. Can I pop it out now? Is it? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh, it's working. Moment of truth, we're taking it out. We're taking it out. Oh my God, that is so sick. Look at how awesome that is. Is that not the sickest thing you've ever seen? My smorgasbord is gonna be sicker than anyone else's. That's all I'm saying. I guess I'm just gonna put one boop, right there. I'm gonna put it right there. 
This is gonna be so cute. These look adorable. Next, I think I'm gonna go in with the hummus. Don't like this packaging, so I'm gonna take it out of here. Ooh, so much cuter. Now for the cheese. I guess I just kind of like place it. There's some cheese if you want it. And maybe here's some cheese. Look at these cheeses. I'm a professional at this. Why is this so much fun? This is like the most fun I've had in freaking years. Brasciutto. Is that how you say it? Brasciutto. I literally cannot open it. Whoa. And that's how you open it. How the hell you display brosciutto? Do I just like cluster it up? You know what? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, you know what? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Scrunch. And then it looks like a ribbon. Wow. That's all I'm gonna do with that because that is way too complicated for me. Crackers, dude. It's like one of the most important parts. I can smell the feta pasta and it smells fantastic. Bless it, bless it, bless it. Wow, those look beautiful. I'm just gonna put those right there. Update on the smorgasbord. I think it looks pretty cute so far. And some blackberries. Wow, that is actually adorable. Wow! Some grapes, strawberries. So cute. For all the empty parts, I'm just gonna add like almonds, mangoes, some chocolate covered almonds. Never go wrong with these. This literally looks so freaking amazing. Tell me I did not blow this out of the park because you're wrong. This looks so beyond sick. Like, I can't believe I did this. I'm gonna flex my smorgasbord. This thing looks awesome. I can't believe I did this. Look at how sick it is. I'm literally obsessed. Like, I want to make these all the time. I'm gonna do this every single time someone comes over to my house. When I come over, you wanna hang out, I will have this ready for us and we can just bust on it all night long. Holy guacamole. She is done and ready to go. I don't like feta, but this smells fantastic. I'm just gonna give her a little mixy mix. About mixed up, I think I could add the pasta in now. Pasta's cooked, so I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. Whoosh! That's hot! Oh my god! Ow! I forgot it was in the oven. Girl, girl about to burn my fingers off. It looks fantastic. All of the food's ready. I'm gonna try it in a second, but I wanna make one more thing, and that is nature's cereal. I'm sure you know what this is, or if you don't, you've probably seen it before. Let's try it out. In a bowl, I'm gonna add ice. Yes! Ice. I don't know why we need ice, but you need ice. I'm gonna add some raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, just basically all the berries, some pomegranate seeds, and some coconut water. This looks so delicious. I knew the first time I saw this on TikTok, I was like, I have to make this. And that's it. So let's go try all of this food now. It's roof big time and I am ready to eat this food. First, I'm going to try the feta pasta. Wait, I hate feta. Let's just get that straight right now. This is freaking amazing. This is actually delicious. It does not taste like feta. What the frick? I'm upset. It is good. Okay, I see you, TikTok. I see you. Really blown away. The next thing I'm going to try is the nature cereal. The ice cubes are starting to melt. Oh my God, I don't know how this is gonna taste. I feel like it's just gonna taste like water. I mean, it is water with fruit in it. So like, but let's give it a go. I'm gonna get all of the berries on there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. The ice is in there because when you eat it, you want this to be freezing cold. It tastes sweeter because it's cold. Like, is this a breakfast? Can I eat this as breakfast? Because I will. Fire! Oh my god. Da 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 The smorgasbord. I mean the car shootery board, whatever it's called. The freaking board, dude. The thing with this board is, I don't know where to start. Mm. A piece of cheese, a cracker, and a piece of salami. This is a great start. This was the best idea I've ever had. This is delicious! This is delicious! This is delicious! This is amazing!
I feel good. I feel good. This is like an adult Lunchable on steroids. Oh, wait, but Jesus. Oh my God. I'm, I'm actually gonna eat the whole thing. I could sit here for the rest of the video and have a mukbang. Should I do a mukbang of a kashuri board? If you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. If this video gets to 12,000 thumbs up, I will do a mukbang. And I'll make a complete different one. We will sit down. Oh my God, I see it. It's going to be fantastic. There'll be wine. I know you want to do it. Thumbs this video up. Let's get this video to 12K. Thumbs up. And I will do that. We will do that. I might get a little drunk, but that's besides the point. It's going to be a good time. So thumbs this video up. You guys, this was all so fantastic. Like, no BS. I'm actually really thrilled. What did we learn today? That... Feta is not that disgusting, and charcuterie boards are one of the funnest things you can do as a grown woman. Man, anyone! All right, you guys, that is going to do it for me. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do that mukbang, give this video a thumbs up right now. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell button, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch, at Mackenzie Marie, because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there, and you should be too. I love you so freaking much, and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!